In this part of the course, we're going to be talking about polymerization reactions or chemical reactions that are used to produce polymers. We've already shown that polymers are long chain molecules and that properties like chain length, degree of branching are very important to determine their properties. Here, we're going to take a closer look at different kinds of reactions that are used to synthesize polymers and see if we can get some insights into how the synthesis conditions influence the properties of the polymer that's produced. So I'm gonna focus on two main types of polymerization reactions uh, in this part of the course. The first type is called step growth polymerization. So this is a process by which chains grow by reactions or interactions between functional groups on each of the molecules in the polymer chain. So for example, a monomer can react with another monomer, Pop monomer can react with a growing polymer, or two growing polymers can uh, react with each other. So if you think about what this might look like, at some initial time, we have some monomers that have functional groups, uh, which are denoted by these red dots on each of these segments. Then at some later time, these functional groups have an opportunity to react and combine some of these monomers to form chains. So for example, these two functional groups react uh, to form a segment here, these two functional groups react, uh, and so forth. So now we have four uh, molecules, four dimers, uh, and the remaining collection of molecules in our sample are still monomers. Then imagine at some later time the reaction continues. So now, for example, this growing chain at the top adds a monomer, so it becomes longer. Two more monomers combine, more monomers and segments of growing chains combine. Uh, and so at each point in time, a distribution of different chain lengths is formed. The second major type of polymerization reaction is called chain growth polymerization. So this is different from step growth polymerization because uh, the polymerization process takes place by a reaction that's localized at an active site, which is at the end of the growing polymer chain. So once this polymer chain becomes activated, monomers are added one by one onto the end of the chain, like stacking Lego bricks uh, to form uh, a long chain. So you can imagine that at some initial time, uh, a monomer becomes activated or an active site uh, is uh, initiated onto this monomer. So then from that active site, additional monomers will be added on, and the active site is then transferred to the end of the growing chain. So at each subsequent point in time, monomers are added one by one onto the end of the chain. So you can see this is a little bit different because in contrast to step growth, we don't have uh, different growing chains uh, combining together uh, to add up uh, to produce uh, intermediate products. So these are the two kinds of reactions we're going to focus on. And the kinds of questions that we would like to answer are what kind of polymers uh, are produced by each of these synthesis mechanisms? How can we predict the chain length uh, and the molecular weight of the polymers that are going to be produced using these two different reaction mechanisms? And how can these properties be tuned uh, or adjusted based on the conditions that are used to synthesize them? So you can imagine that this is a complex area. There's a lot of parameters and variables involved uh, in order to characterize uh, these reaction processes. But our focus is just to identify some general rules uh, and basic trends uh, that can give us some insights, uh, some rules of thumb uh, to get some intuition about how changing different parameters might affect the properties of the polymer that's going to be produced.